This leaves us with a very tough decision. There was a concept that we felt leaned very much so, so, sort of towards gaming. Then on the other hand, we felt that there was a concept that didn't lean enough towards gaming. Where does that leave us? The next and last person that'll be moving on to compete with Summer and Peons is gonna be Vortec. With that being said, Vortec, Summer, and Peons, you guys will be moving on to the next brief, which happens to be this. Codenames is a code learning course designed for young adults who are interested in pursuing a career in computer programming. We are looking for a logo mark and a logo type that conveys a sense of excitement and innovation, while also appearing professional and trustworthy. The logo mark should reflect the idea of unlocking the secrets of coding and showcase the value of the skills our students will gain throughout our course. One hour and 30 minutes on the clock, let's see what these guys got. All right, guys, and welcome to the Champion of Champions finale with Vortech, Peons, and Summer. One of you guys are going to be walking away with $1,000. Thanks, of course, to Envato Elements. So with that being said, there's no pressure besides, like, you could make $500 an hour right now. That's kind of good. Damn. So with that being said, okay, three, two, one, start designing. This could be a tricky one. I like this brief, actually. I usually like working for uh, innovative tech stuff. So first off, we're gonna check out some typefaces. All right, so immediately I'm thinking of, you know, you ever see the movie Matrix? The Matrix. You see those little symbols? I'm thinking about doing those symbols, maybe doing like a little, like a hand font. So I think I'm gonna focus on this concept of unlocking modern and contemporary. For sure, we are talking about like sans serif font probably. I'm gonna do this and have the word code name the code above here with like the yeah something like this. This is a really nice C. I like the really geometric approach. We could maybe work with an actual key as part at least of the mark. For the actual mark, I'm thinking this C, but with um, obviously these slants. I'm for sure preferring like this type of key could have a little name tag for names or maybe the whole thing can be a name tag i feel like that's too much though i really really like this so i'm probably sticking with this typeface for the logo type really quick stop in the action get a word from our sponsors in vato elements these guys are of course putting out the thousand dollars that one of these guys are gonna win to be honest in vato elements is the ultimate creative subscription with over 13 million creative assets at just 13 50 a month it is actually the only other creative subscription that i personally bought myself since 2019 literally without a sponsor it's that good trust me check out Vato elements in the description down below this looks like a y2 page i don't like it Oh, I'm starting to get a little nervous here. But at the same time, it's very exciting. Dude, that's actually... Kept, oh, dude, I like that a lot. That's going to be our type. And we just need a mark to go with it. And in a blink of an eye, 30 minutes down, one hour to go. Okay, okay, I'm confident. Let's just work on this mark, on this logo type first. Just something... It's, it's this thing up here. It just doesn't... Do I need the lines up here to know it's a name tag? Like this new version of the E, the overall look. It's good to me. I think... This should be my mark. Okay, I like that. So we're gonna go... I'm always second guessing myself with these things. Yeah, I think uh, this could be like, almost like a, like a bridge between these two. Pick the keyhole and place it inside. Yeah, that's, that's not bad. Pressure's on, man. Could be... I could do like a little key. Uh, the, the key is too big. I hope I have, I'm not wasting too much time for the logotype. Are you even a graphic designer if you don't add the registered symbol in for no reason? I don't think this is going to break me. I don't know how. How would I make a logo mark out of this? Okay, now time to add the colors in. Kind of like just this for like the mark. This is cutting it way too close. I still have to vector, man. We almost got a letter C here. Well, it's more like a G than a C. That's that's strange. I really like the second one. All right, we'll roll with this. We don't have much, we don't have much time at all. We got a vector like the lightning, dude. This can be this. <sighs> yes, 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 yes. I like that. 20 minutes left. I mean, yeah, that's that's a good C, but I don't know if I'm a huge fan. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna design a little landing page for them. And you think an hour and a half is so much time when you get these briefs and when you actually do them, it seems like 20 minutes. There we go. I need an illustration now. I have not practiced any mock-up 
skills. We'll see how we do there. I don't want to disappoint Mr. Sessa. What about making a circle? Wait. Or maybe code? Hmm. Maybe the end can be inside. Five minutes left. I think that the square one works better. Wait, that's one word. I'm glad I saw that. Um, get rid of the X's. Coding, we have a lot of languages. So maybe we could have like a rich color palette. I think I'm overthinking about the logo type or logo mark. I'm really digging the, the vibe here. I'm gonna say yes. I'm sticking with the logo. I feel confident, but I don't. All right, now it's time for mock-ups. 30 minutes on the clock. Three, two, one, start your mock-ups. I guess we can look for like t-shirts and stuff now. I have to create a pattern of some kind from this logo. I think that having a web page is key here. Yeah, I like how this turned out. I kind of really like that, man. I don't know, I really like that. Is there such thing as a coding mock-up? I like the contrast between like the blue and the orange. I don't know about the gray. Maybe we could use like some different colors. How, how would I do a mock-up for this? Yeah, that's nice. Let's add maybe some grain. Yeah, that's cool. What are we gonna do, what are we gonna do? This could be good. Angle the logo onto like the wall here. Then we could maybe do like an Instagram post because I think that you will for sure see this advertisement online. I just wish I was better at like the graphic design stuff aspect, like side of things, man. <laughs> Mouse pads. Mouse pads, maybe? That could be cool. You need like a device mockup too? Bro, I'm so bad at mockups. Holy. I love to use mockups in Figma. They make stuff so easy. I think I don't have much time for it, but it could be cool to have like a gradient animation here. I feel good about the logo, just not about the mockups. Ooh, okay, okay. I like this. Yeah, I think we're done. Oof. Dude, mockups are gonna cost me this, this whole thing, man. And with that, time is up. However, with that being said, though, I want to actually give us a quick little, like, uh, everyone gets a little kind of quick little one minute brief of how we actually got to, to square one. So let's start off with peons. I started by choosing the typeface. That's the, the first thing that I usually do with uh, working with branding. I choose to, to use the slogan, unlocking the secrets of coding as the main element that merge all, all of the, the brand elements, of course. The concept of uh, the key and the keyhole is both on the logo type and on the mark. Then I choose a color palette, a uh, really bright orange as the, the main color and some other to complement it and also to support it with like less bolder colors. Vortec. You're up next. Yeah, I kind of went in the more kind of fun route. I kind of looked up some Matrix stuff from the movie, you know, like the text falling down. The... So I tried to use elements of that. I tried to go with a name tag, if you can see like with the brackets. Yeah, I tried to keep it bright and colorful. And then last, well, I guess last for sure is Summer. I feel like coding has a huge learning curve. These guys code name is providing the medium to cover that gap between the knowledge and the coders. So I came up with this mark, which is a uh, less than greater than symbol with a slash, which is super generic to coding. The color palette consists of blues and oranges just to give it a innovative tech feel while also having like a friendly aspect to it. I also chose a secondary typeface, which is a monospace typeface because I think it fits well with the coding brand. <laughs> you guys are not gonna make this any, any easier. Oh, with this though, I was gonna take this to the judges. We're gonna get this thing in in the mix and, and actually get judging so uh with further ado let's let's jump into it all right george it is time the finale the final critique let's start off with summer and get right into it all right i think summer had a very strong understanding of his audience and the things that would be useful for them so i really liked his concept with bridging the gap the mock-ups as usual summer does a really great job of how it's going to look on a website i think it's important to see you know this is the main business is education courses right having it showcased there just makes sense i think the design style is very functional and i think it appeals to the audience really well i think he did a pretty good job i mean it's obvious that these brackets and the slash is very common to the the idea of coding overall type and heading and the the, the color scheme itself speaks very towards that tech vibe which it feels it feels good it does feel good i can't ignore the fact i think what's especially useful is seeing 
that bridge used throughout the design system, not just in the logo, but if you go to the image with the posters, you can see it uses a pattern. And now suddenly this meaning is showcased throughout the entire identity, not just one piece of it. Let's move on to Vortex concept. Vortex took a more sort of like organic vibe to it, of course, with his art style overall. And I, I would say I, I actually do appreciate the actual overall icon, the end of this cool little bracket. It's a little bit more fun. I think it does feel even a little bit more toward that, you know, young adult or even like young teen kind of era, which although the, the, the overall audience was for more young adults, I wouldn't suggest that people wouldn't be into this if they were into that kind of style itself. So with that though, what do you think? I think Vortec did an excellent job in this round with providing a little bit more context. So the mock-ups having some visual style with kind of like that matrix pattern in the background. There's some things that are really strong about what he was able to come up with and how he's able to present it. I do think there's maybe a few functional issues specifically with the code maybe being a little bit hard to read. I do think he did a fantastic job and I do appreciate the fact that we got more mock-ups too, which I know was hard for Vortex throughout the entire composition. So absolute W there. And now of course, last one would be Peons with his concept where it seems like he took the idea of our brief and where he says unlocking the secrets of coding and made it so literal that he actually used it as for his logo mark and overall branding concept so what do you think i think peons also approached the presentation of the mark similarly to summer with some pretty relevant context so using a website like we had mentioned some social media graphics specifically the app icon i think was a nice touch as well i think the logo mark and type makes sense i appreciate the ink traps in the type matching kind of the trap that's in the logo mark with that key the color palette's really experimental it definitely has some energy to it i could also see there being a few functional issues with this one for the most part he nailed the concept it's easy for me to understand and i think there's a good potential if this were a real brand to go in this direction and improve it. I mean, absolutely. I would say like overall, the you also get a little bit of art direction too with the overall sort of like blurs and the cool color scheme that it is. Although you might suggest that a color scheme might've been a little bit off in that in that opinion. I actually appreciate the colors themselves. They feel a little bit unique to me. I, I think the blue is very trustworthy, which he of course uses those words from the actual brief overall. The orange is a very, very nice uh, complimentary color and the white just makes sense. And I think the overall feeling that they actually get the, the color inside the logo to be this really cool vibrancy of, of almost like a, what does it remind me of? Like an Instagram, right? It kind of gives you that relative that I understand the logo already. I don't know. There's there's a lot to this to this theory, but like they didn't make it easy at all. All right. So to make this absolutely fair, we have a point system being graded based on cohesion, creativity, and quality. That way it's as fair as possible between myself and George when grading this. So George, I have to ask you, who had the most points on your side? For me, it was... This is a super, super, super very close game. I wanna just say that off the bat, okay? I wanna at least start off with the person that was not going to be crowned the champion of champions, but is still absolutely a champion. And that person is Vortec. Okay, Vortec right now, this you're still a champion, but for the record, Vortec, you scored a point of total of 81, and we just thought it was a really great concept. And the overall concept itself felt that it was maybe a little bit too young. And the quality control, whether it was based on the logo itself, might have been a little bit disruptive when it comes to the word code in specific. And with that, though, do you have any socials to shout out, things like that, where people can find you, what you probably specialize in? Because you're obviously a goat at many things, but let, let, the, let, let the world know what it is. First of all, I had a, I had a blast. Everyone's here. Everyone here is goaded. I mainly specialize, obviously, with the first logo that we did here. I mainly do mascots. I've been dipping my toes into some icons and to some uh, emotes as well. But uh, if you want to throw me a follow on uh, Twitter, at uh, VortecDZN, that's where I'm mostly at. For the record, Vortec, I appreciate you, brother. Uh, but with that, that leaves Peons and Summer as our potential champion of champions. So just to say how close this was, the actual overall points difference between the champion and the not champion of champions is four points <laughs> it was generally that close so without further ado the design royale logo edition champion of champions walking with a thousand dollars and of course their crown is going to be Summer is the champion of champions. 
So, I mean, for the record, peons, you scored a total of 99 points. My differential points being a one point difference between the two. Summer, you had a three point difference for George. So it was incredibly, incredibly close. I just want to really quickly preference the peons. Even though you're not a champion of champions, you're absolutely still a champion. And with that, though, I want to give you a quick second of what you specialize in, what your socials are, where people can find you, because you're obviously a goat throughout this entire series as well. Thank you so much. Thanks for all the other guys participating participating and yeah i specialize in branding and yeah you can find me of course on twitter uh, at peon studio with that being said though summer brother this is you it's you man how do you feel summer what do you specialize in and of course what are your socials like i do a lot of stuff but logo design and visual identity is what i specialize in my social is just my name summer mavi and uh, twitter they don't know this, but you also played in another episode that didn't even get aired. But for that, you've what created about eight different concepts to get to today's video or to today's video. Just how do you feel overall with the experience? And how do you, of course, feel being the first season one champion of champions? Um, It has been a fun experience for sure, with the challenge being just an hour long to create something which usually takes days. I think it was a pretty hard contest. <laughs> yeah, and everyone did a great job especially this last round i i also thought it was super close do not forget I'll, I'll actually leave a poll in the top right description you can guys click on it or the description itself and you guys let me know who your favorite design was was it actually summers was it peons or was it vortex so you can have your own opinion as well we absolutely we absolutely that that's worth to actually at least give you guys the option to do that so with that being said is seso hq out you gotta get to keep smiling stay positive and stay freaking productive guys later much love peace and i hope you enjoy designer Royale season one with our new and only current champion of champions summer